everybody. Here we are, live with you. Great to be here to support the work of Clearwater. Uh, Clearwater was a, and continues to be, a, a really important institution, not only there in the Hudson Valley, but, um, but really everywhere where people are dealing with water quality issues and dealing with, um, you know, all the, the things, manufacturing and the threats to the environment and uh, all kinds of things going on uh, around the world. It really set the standard for um, us being aware of our um, impact on the, on the world. So um, really grateful to Pete and to all the families that started that great project and wanted to bring you some of the music. This is actually the song that um, I wrote after being at Pete's bedside when he died. Um, he was a really important figure in my life for a long time, but so was Toshi. Uh, you know, I, I certainly knew about Pete first, but it, as soon as I came to the Hudson Valley, uh, I got to know Toshi and, uh, and just adored her from the moment I met her. She would pull me aside. You know, I came and volunteered for the, the um, Clearwater Revival. She'd pull me aside and, you know, we'd chat about how things were going with my music and stuff like that. She always wanted to know how it was for the women out there. And she would poke me into, into workshops. Even I was just really, really early in my banjo playing days. And she said, you have to go be, I want, I want you to be in this workshop. And I was like, Toshi, I barely know how to play the banjo. I mean, I've only played it like a little bit at parties with friends. I had hardly played it on stage then. She said, no, you have to, you have to go up there because you have to show that women play the banjo and there are too many men up there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was terrified, but I so appreciated the spirit of what she was doing <laughs> that I had to go. And you know, when Toshi asked you to do something, you did it. <laughs> and she was right. <laughs> so, um, so here's the song that uh, that I wrote about my experience with um, with Pete and with Clearwater. And, um, and we love knowing you're there, Catherine and Gail and Lori. <laughs> thanks for letting us know you're out there on Facebook with us. Yeah, and sing with us wherever you are. For I had a toy made of plastic and of joy, a magic musical machine from a drum, a stick, and strings. I couldn't know as I would play, live to meet the man one day, playing the songs that shaped my life and taught the world to sing. Thank you. 
told us each and every song. We've told you by your side. As I observed your dimming light, I felt a spark in the ignite. And I would train it all today to hear your banjo ring. Oh, hear the banjo ring. Hear the people sing. Oh, changes everything. Sing the people. Australia and uh, <laughs> Jody and Stephen and Sarah. Hey, Sarah, nice to see you there. Sarah's a wonderful videographer that we've been working with, and um, we're going to sing a song for you in this set uh, that we're working on that video. We'll get it out as soon as we can. Um, but we wanted to do a song that was kind of a favorite of, I mean, Toshi knew and loved this one, right, Pat? Yeah, I. I wrote this song in the Hudson Valley. Uh, Sandy and I are now, I'm actually living in the Sacramento Valley in uh, California, a uh, little more than an hour outside of the Bay Area, and Sandy's in uh, Oakland this, these days. But uh, Except I'm right here now because with all this shelter in place stuff, uh, we can't sing for you unless we were in the same room. So I've been living up here, and you know, we've been hearing a lot of people talk about this reopening, but we know that we really need to take, to continue to take very deep um, considerations for safety. And so who knows, I might be living up in Pat's house um, with her wonderful girlfriend and their wonderful son uh, for a mm -hmm. long time, but don't tell them I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really whatever it takes to, um, for us all to, to be safe and for this thing to pass by us and for us to, um, Get strong and healthy again. Um, so this song I wrote on the when I was living right nearby the the Hudson. I was living in Annandale on Hudson there, right down from um, Bard College. And it was really very much after doing a lot of work on the on the Clearwater <laughs> and uh, spending a lot of time there on the boat and and by the river and with the activists uh, around there. And I, I wanted to be able to say something encouraging during a really difficult time, um, just like we want to be able to say something encouraging now, when people I know a lot are really struggling uh, through this time. And um, I know Pete and uh, I, I saw Vinnie and Mary Ellen there. Uh, you all used to sing this on the on the banks of the Hudson, and maybe you still do when they uh, do the swim across the, the Hudson. Let's uh, sing with us on this one too. We are 
intensamente We can worship this ground we walk on Cherishing the beings that we live beside Loving spirits will live forever We're all swimming to the other side I am alone and I am searching Hungering for answers in my time I am balanced at the brink of wisdom I am impatient to receive a sign I move forward with my senses open Imperfection can be my crime In humility I will listen We're all swimming to the other side We are living with the great big dipper We are washed by the very same rain Some in power, some in pain We can worship this ground we walk on Cherishing the beings that we live beside Loving spirits will live forever We're all swimming to the other side On this journey through thoughts and feelings Binding intuition by head, my heart I am gathering the tools together I am preparing to do my part All of those who have come before me Band together and be my guide Loving lessons that I will follow We're all swimming to the other side We are living beneath the great big dipper We are washed by the very same rain We are swimming in the stream together some in power, some in pain We can worship this ground we walk on Cherishing the beings that we live beside Loving the spirits will live forever We're all swimming to the other side When we get there we'll discover All of the gifts we've been given to share Have been with us since life's So you make us cry, Gretchen. <laughs> Gretchen's our wonderful assistant in Maryland who's been with us for a number of years, and we love you. We miss you, too. And Jim out there who got us in touch with this wonderful group of um, young activists. You've heard of Greta Thunberg, who's the student who sat down outside the school in Sweden, outside the parliament, and refused to go to school because she said, why am I studying? I don't have a future unless you do something. And when we went to sing this song that we wrote down at Fire Drill Fridays, Jane Fonda's Fire Drill Fridays, Jim got us in touch with um, Callan Benson, who is the young teenager here in the US who is running the US um, contingent of Greta Thunberg's activist group, Fridays for Future. And so, Thanks for that, Jim. And uh, we knew that given that this is a benefit for Clearwater and all the work that Clearwater has done to bring attention not just to that river, but through that river to bring attention to climate issues nationally and internationally. And they really, you know, living up to that adage of uh, think globally and act locally. 
um, they've been doing all of that. And global is so much smaller than it used to be, right? <laughs> Because here we are, and we've got Enid joining us from Australia, and folks joining us from wherever you are, and we don't have to expend any fossil fuels to sing with you. And that I love. And um, we need you to sing on this one, because when we sing in a demonstration, we teach you your part, and then I get to sing my part, and you can sing your part. And here, uh, if I try to sing my part and your part, I, I run out of air, and it just doesn't <laughs> work. So, so you keep up your part out there. And uh, we hope to get this song to Greta some, someday. We, we quote her famous words, our house is on fire. Here's your part. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire. Try it. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire. We love you. We hear you. We commit to change our ways. Not later, but sooner. Right now. For your future. The youth can't wait. Put out the fire. Women can't wait. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire for our children. Put out the fire. I'm the children. Put out the fire. I'm the children. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire for songbirds, for clean air, for the oceans and the bays. Not later, but sooner. Our house is on fire. Sinking shorelines. Put out the fire. Shrinking islands. Put out the fire. Growing dry lands. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire. Let bees live. Let trees grow. Let the snow fall where it may. Not later, but sooner. Right now. Fire. Yeah, people. <clears throat> Thank you for singing that with us. We'll get that video out to you that Sarah's been working on with us so that we can get that around and really encourage more people of our generation to step up and do what we need to do. And here, this, this pandemic is kind of insane about that, but we've actually gotten to see what happens when we stop using all of the, our modes of transportation that are still reliant on fossil fuels. Well, you can see the stars in Delhi, or you can, you know, breathe the air in Los Angeles and feel good about it. Um, and so amazing things have been happening and I hope you've been catching some of those. And that just shows us what we can do and how we could live um, in a way that will allow this planet to be sustained because I don't know if anyone's told you, but we don't have any place else to go. <laughs> There's no planet B. <laughs> There's no planet B, as they say. <laughs> so. So I was, let's see, this was 1988. I was living in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I got a call from Kathy Winter, a uh, singer and songwriter in Schenectady and um, she said hey you know about the the boat that um, is part of the Clearwater and that that organization that Pete and Toshi started on the Hudson I said yeah 
And she said, well, I know that there is a space available uh, during pumpkin sales. And I didn't know anything about pumpkin sale. In fact, one of those verses in um, in Sing People Sing, that first song that that uh, that we sang, is about pumpkin sale. I got this phone call, and <clears throat> she said it's a it's a week long um, volunteer position, and and they ask musicians to come on board for the week, and then they take all the unnecessary stuff off the the boat, and they. Um, pile, they make these pens and they pile a bunch of pumpkins. It was what, six tons of pumpkins or something like that uh, up on the deck. And then um, you do little festivals all up and down the river. And and it sounded like so much fun. And to get to hang out with a a group of of other musicians and volunteer on the boat and do that, I, I was like, I'm there. So I drove down to the valley. I, I don't remember exactly, exactly the place where I met them. I remember that it was a long walk out, so it must have been that one place that I know New Yorkers are saying right now silently, oh yeah, this is the place. But um, we had to walk all the way out to the end to get to that pier, and it was like somewhere close to the middle of the river-ish, a little bit south of the, ri- of the middle. And... Um, of course, it was the most enchanting time of my life up, up to that point. And um, two weeks later, I, I moved to the Hudson Valley and I just said, I'm, I'm all in. Whatever is happening here, I want to be part of this community and, um, and I, I'll give whatever time is necessary. And, um, you know, we would sing in the morning to wake people up. We would sing to the students and the community groups that came on board and we would sing at the end of the night. Piermont, says Brian. Yes, that's it, Piermont. (laughs) Yes, 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 that's what it was. (laughs) You were there. (laughs) And and I distinctly, I remember lots of um, songs that I really carried with me for for many years after that. And um, one of them that has always really stuck with me, and I'm sure it's a very folk processed version at this point because it was a long time ago now. Um, I remember Steve Stan singing, uh, singing this song, uh, Kitty Low. <laughs> Saw a crow flying low, kitty low, kitty low. Saw a crow flying low, kitty low and light. Saw a crow flying low, saw a catch a spinning toe, kitty low and light. Rock em Way up yonder above the moon, kitty low, kitty low. Way up yonder above the moon, kitty low and light. Way up yonder above the moon, river sits in a silver spoon, kitty low and light. Rock and Mariah. Way up yonder beyond the sun, kitty low, kitty low. Way up yonder beyond the sun, kitty low and low. Way up yonder beyond the sun, blue bird flies when the work is done, kitty low and low. Rock and ride. Big old owl in a tree, kitty low, kitty low. Big old owl in a tree, kitty low and low. Big old owl in a tree, just as sleepy as she can be, kitty low and low. Rock and around. Sloop sail the tap and see, kitty low, kitty low. Sloop sail the tap and see, kitty low and light. Sloop will sail the tap and see, just as peaceful as she can be, kitty low and light. Rock em Oh, 
by your baby, oh, give me love with life. Be your by your baby, oh, by your be your baby, oh, give me love with life. Rock and roll. I remember one time coming up to the house up the hill and uh, <clears throat> I was I was waiting. Uh, Pete was talking to somebody on the phone or something and and um, that always that was always a nice long thing. He got lots of great stories to tell. <laughs> and uh, and Toshi, so I I chatted with Toshi for a long time. I really I loved spending time with, with Toshi. She truly was uh, one of my favorite humans on earth. And uh, and you used I, to tell her so too because everybody <laughs> coming up to see Pete, you know, and Pat would be like, I'm coming up to see you. <laughs> so she said to me, she said to me one time. She said, boy, all these women are always coming up to see Pete. If I was, you know, if I was the jealous type, I'd, I'd be really, I'd be really concerned. And I said, oh, Toshi, you know, if it were between, uh, if it were a contest between you and Pete, and you know how much I love Pete, if it were a contest between you and Pete, I'd, I'd pick you hands down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. I think she liked that. <laughs> so we're going to do one more song to send you off back to the finale. What an amazing 12-hour tribute um, and celebration of Toshi and celebration of environmentalism and the work of Clearwater. And if you haven't had a chance to donate to Clearwater yet, please do. The links are in our post. And I know that Fred, one of our organizers, and Tina, another of our organizers for this event, were in the chat and putting information for you. So please give, a, let's just give lots of hearts for Fred and uh, Tina for putting this together and all the musicians who played all day. And we'll sing you out with this one. And, um, and then there's going to be a beautiful finale. Much love to our friend Lisa Gutkin, who reminded us to bring our <laughs> Clearwater mug to our, swag. to our show. <laughs> and we love you all. Look forward to seeing you again online and whenever it's safe. In yeah, please, please do support this um, really crucial um, project. They're, um, they're, they're so essential to um to the not only just the life in the hudson valley but to the larger world um toshi was really creating the world that she wanted to see uh, right there along the hudson so be part of that here we go thanks again so sing any version of this song that you know it'll all work together
Much love, y'all. Be well. Be safe. See you soon. Stay in touch with us here on Facebook or sign up on our list. We'll let you know when we're doing a concert again. See you over at the finale. Take care of one another.